What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. How is everyone? Um, we actually just got our uh, negative battery cable in But before I get that installed I actually because we're still waiting on some stuff for the control panel I decided I am actually gonna take the front uh, Front fenders back off and I don't know if you could see but if you look very carefully this has still got some pit uh, It's still pitted from all the rust and all that so I am actually gonna get that ready for uh i'm gonna get it off and get the bondo on it and there's a couple spots um like right here there's a little bit there's a little up here that need a little bit of bondo as well and then same thing up here like this was really pitted in this area um and then i'm actually gonna get all this rust off too and i need to get this out the rest of the way from that little bit of plastic that was there but this this fender is not too bad um on the top that one actually is a little bit worse on the top uh with the pitness <clears throat> um let's see if you can see it plus it's also got this little dent right here and it's got a there's a dent in the back somewhere too hold on let me i don't remember exactly where it is but i know there's this dent and if you look right here, this one, you can just see the pit, uh, the pitted, it's a lot, it's pitted a lot more. But other than that, the roof's not really pitted. Um, and then I still actually have to do more, uh, a little bit more body work right here from where this dent was. Um, but the car is, is on jack stands and I really don't feel like putting the car on, uh, uh, I don't feel like putting the wheels back on and pushing it out So it's just as easy for me to take the fenders off because it's not that many bolts So with that being said, we're gonna jump right into it Okay, we got uh, the first skim coat on. Um, it's looking really good. I got a couple spots, like right here, is uh, a little dent. I need to bring that up just a hair more because it, it dips down just a little bit. But for the most part, I think I got just a little bit more right here, the pitting to get rid of. Like I said, this, this is the passenger fender. The passenger fender was not as bad as the driver's side. The driver's side is going to take a lot more work. Just like I already got a lot of this pitting right here gone in one skim coat. Uh, I need a little bit more right here. And then I did not really get right here because I wanted to get uh, thicker sandpaper. And I wanted to sand down and get a little bit more of the rust out. So that will need probably two coats. But the rest of the bumper, like all right, uh, not bumper, fender is really good. This all right here is real good. Um, I don't really see too much right here or anything that needs it. Um, it's just dirty. Uh, yeah, I might need some right here. But 
I mean, it's really hard to tell. Yeah, I think I need a little right here. So let me sand that a little bit, and then I'll, I'll see what what I'll see how much I need. Um, I put a little bit more hardener in it than I, I really wanted to, but I wanted to see how fast it would dry, and it dried a little bit faster than I liked. So I'm gonna take a little bit of hardener out of it for this coat, and we're gonna keep on rocking. All of our bondo on um, looks really great. There's just one little spot where that dent was. I got to do one more pass there. It's just a hair too low. And then I can primer it again. Uh, two coats of primer, wet sand it, two coats of paint, um, and then two coats of clear, and then we'll be good. Um, with that being said, I'm going to wait for that to dry, sand it, and then uh, it's, it's real cloudy and real windy today, so it's not a good day to paint. Um, so I'm actually, uh, after I get this all sanded, I'm going to go in the garage and we're going to get that uh, ground wire set up. But I'm going to wait for that to dry and clean up everything that I don't need out here real quick and keep on going. I uh, got the negative cable ran. It's uh, right here. Got it. I actually, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was wondering... I was talking about whether or not I should zip tie them and I ended up just zip tying them so the positive and the negative are zip tied um, right to this because this is already mounted so I just zip tied them and it, it came out real clean as well so I'm okay with it. Um, I did not zip tie it up in this area yet because I'm still I still I need to get a couple uh, mounts to keep it up out of the way from whenever there's a passenger in there and their feet won't be messing with it but i got it ran out here same thing with the positive i did not put a connector on the positive yet and i did not put one on the negative because uh i want to wait for whenever i get my um headers on uh the exhaust manifolds and figure out the best way to route it that way they're both away from heat um so they're both going to get cut a little shorter or maybe stay a little longer to route them a little bit of a different way. But I'm real happy with how the layout of that is. That's going to be it for the negative cable. And after that, uh, next thing is I'm waiting on the switches still to put into the control panel for the headlights and all that. I also got a wiper switch coming, so I got to get ready to start running wires for wipers. Um, so... I am actually going to take the next thing is I'm going to take the dash back out and I'm going to finish getting everything ready to be 100% plug and play for the control panel, for the start button, the fuel pump on and off. It's it's coming along really good. It's, it's moving a lot faster than uh, I thought it would, but hey, we're getting it done. What is up, guys? It's a new day in the shop. Um... I actually did get the fender painted. I The wind calmed down enough and I got it painted. I'm real happy with how it turned out. Um, I mean, it, it's got some imperfections. Because, um, like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see it in person. There's just a couple scratches that, like, right here. Uh, I didn't want to just do the whole thing in Bondo, so I kind of, I kind of picked and choose where I put the Bondo. I, I put it uh where it was like really really bad pitted, but it it turned out really nice. Um, I mean, it's kind of a budget build. One day, you know, maybe I'll have the car done completely correctly by an actual body person, but we're gonna get the fender hooked back on. Um. And then I'm going to take the driver one off and do the same thing. So with that being said, let's jump right into it.
I got the driver fender off. Um, time to get it outside and get all the Bondo and everything I need gathered up and uh, put some on. Let me show you where it really needs it. Um, in reality, I really don't want to be doing body work yet, but we're kind of waiting on parts. And since I'm waiting, I figure I'd just continue to do something to give a little bit of content for you guys. Um, it's pitted pretty pretty bad right here. It's it's pretty much it's not too terrible back in this area, um, but it's pretty much from here all the way forward and then there is a dent right here that i'm gonna get rid of and other than that nothing really this one's like really really good compared to the passenger side um outside of just being really pitted a lot more up top versus the passenger side one and then uh the passenger side front up here was real bad but this one's not um and it's it's pretty good down here i'll be able to see a little bit more when it's in the actual sunlight um versus over here kind of in the shade but i'm gonna get it outside and we're gonna get started okay uh i painted the other fender um after i did all the body work uh it turned out real nice i got it drying in my shed um the reason i got it drying in the shed is because the shed is metal and it will uh it kind of makes it like a a paint booth like a heat box so i got it in here um drying it's got same thing two coats clear two coats of paint uh all that it turned out really nice i got it drying um so, got it in here drying. Just gonna leave it overnight and then I'll put it on the car tomorrow. Uh, but with that being said, that's gonna be it for the rest of this video. Uh, I'd like to say, please like and subscribe and give us a uh, hit the thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next episode.